I don't know if you can tell, but today I am not working in my apartment. You all might have recognized that guy. I'm in the workshop of an industrial maker working on the very first of the street art murals that is going up in his garage. Day one here in Industrial HQ and we're getting this mural up on the wall. I took a pencil sketch that I did previously, created a computer file, and now I'm projecting sections of that sketch so that I can get it to eight foot by eight foot. I'm gonna be just putting in little reference areas so that when the projector's off, I know kind of where everything is situated and I can really start going to town on the art. Hang with me and see how this works. And always remember with spray paint, it's masks on everybody. All right, good. Mike didn't manage to mess it up while I was gone. <laughs> so today we are filling in a lot of the color. It's gonna be broad strokes, not a lot of detail, but um, important step. She said large, wide strokes. That's what he said. And if you guys have been following me along on Instagram, you see that I've been doing some color studies behind the scenes. So I'm gonna be applying those here to the wall. Let's get to it. For Mike, it's Medestrial Day every day. For me, it's day three here working on this mural. Today, we're layering in more color, some shadows. This is where the piece really starts to take shape. I think most artists kind of feel the beginning of a piece, you don't feel great about it, you kind of don't want anybody to see it. Every time you make art, you sort of just have to like believe in the process and know that it's gonna get to that point where it makes that magical turn and you start to feel really good about it. So hang with me, it's gonna get exciting.
All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this guy. Got the shadows in, got the mid-tones in. Now I'm moving on to outlining. I've decided to switch to brush because I really want all those thin lines to be super crisp, crispy, crispy, and smaller areas like the eye, the pupil. I want it to look really great and highly technical. Stick with me, see how it goes. started to take shape over the last day. I'm gonna really take some time and focus in on the coral reef so that octopus can really pop forward off of that background. And we do have some time constraints because Mike is working on parts of this building and he needs me to finish, wrap things up, get everything packed and taken out of here so that he can continue with his work. This is something that artists run into a lot of the time, right? Like we have a deadline or we have something that we have to finish quickly because of other circumstances that are going on. So it's just part of the gig. So wish me luck and Let's get to work. So we're under a time crunch to get this piece done, but lucky for me, Mike is a very nice client. I ran out of some spray paint to finish the bottom. So I overnighted spray paint and we're gonna be finishing this baby up right now. Cat, uh, are you ready for me to come take a look? Is it done? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! That, that's amazing. This is totally colorful. I love it. This is a great start to the industrial job. Good job. Well, I am really happy that he's happy and that he likes this piece. If you don't know who this guy is, this is Mike Clifford and he has his own YouTube channel, The Industrial Maker. The space that we're in right now is his workshop, which was an abandoned building that he is currently renovating. So go check that out on his channel. Again, Medustrial Maker. But more importantly, because this is not my channel, this is the Cat Leap and Zart channel. So y'all, you better like, you better comment, you better subscribe because, well, I don't know what do if you don't, but you definitely should. That's it for this time, and she will see you next time. On Cat Weekend's Party.